when they were filming out of there. So I left it there. I was like, take care of my stuff. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> when they were on like, Twitter, I said that at 1230. So I said at 1230. Let's go meet up at a brewery. This wasn't an official thing. Like, I just started. The first Vaporwave Festival, everybody, Electronicon, has come and went, and today I want to share with you some of the incredible merch I picked up at the show. With over 20 different performances from different artists in the scene to labels and fans coming together from all over the world, Electronicon was undoubtedly going to become a marketplace of cassettes, vinyl, CDs, trinkets, and apparel from all over over the vapor sphere and to boot some pretty rare pieces that have either been long sold out or just straight up electronicon exclusives if you're a collector electronicon was the place to be i also want to show you what might be no joke one of the greatest vaporwave physicals i have ever personally picked up this is seriously one of the coolest additions to my music collection and i just can't wait to show it to you so stick around you're gonna be mind blown so sit back grab a comfy blanket and maybe throw a bag of popcorn in the microwave heat up some tea whatever makes you feel comfy because we are going to be looking at all the things i picked up at electronicon but before we start real quick make sure you hit that like button and also let me know in the comments below what are some musical pickups you've made in recent days? Let me hear about your CDs, your cassettes, your vinyl. I want to know. Also, were you at Electronicon as well? Let me know it all in the comments. All right, so first up, we have the 100% Electronicon mixtape cassette, a really cool sampler of sorts that featured tracks from the artists performing throughout the day. These cassettes were given to each person walking into the event. I know there was a limited amount of them, but for the most part, everyone I met throughout the day was able to snag one of these as they entered into the venue. Also to add a cool little 100% Electronicon glow stick to further commemorate this historic event for vaporheads like myself. The cassette is a strong blue transparent jewel case and looks super super clean. This was a really nice touch from George and 100% Electronica to give us concert goers uh, who were attending the event something that much more special, something they didn't even really need to do. It just made the entire festival that much more worthwhile. With tickets priced between, I think it was like 30 to $40 for Electronicon, throwing in a cassette that would probably retail online for like 15 bucks. I mean, this whole thing just seemed like a great deal. This cassette is something I'm going to display for a long time as it is a representation of that very important day. Long live Electronicon, baby. So when you walked into the venue for the event at Elsewhere, which was uh, where it took place in Brooklyn, you knew George had to hit us up with some dope 100% Electronicon merch, and I wanted to buy one of the tour shirts right away to kind of get it out of the way and make sure I can get my size before they ran out of them. Here we have the 100% Electronicon official tour shirt. They had a couple colors. I believe this teal one you are seeing here, a purplish blue one, and a black one. But dude, come on, look at the color of this shirt. I'm like the biggest sucker for that seafoam green color. And this thing is one of the dopest concert shirts I've ever picked up. At 30 bucks, I think it's definitely worth it. The shirt is quality, quality material. The colors are rich. It, it fits really great. And I think they also still have some up on the 100% Electronica site in their store. So if you do want to pick one of these up, even if you didn't go to the event, uh, go check it out. It is a very cool shirt. So I got a cool story for you with this one. Next up, we have a cassette of Fancy Service by Shoji, a really cool dude in the scene who has experimented with a couple different types of styles and has also been featured on the Business Casual label. For those who don't know, there was a really cool little tape swap meetup the night before Electronicon, and I made sure I was able to stop by for a bit. I knew I was going to get to the city late the day before Electronicon, but I was like, dude, you got to get there on time for this little, you know, tape meet. It seemed pretty sweet. So when I got there, Shoji approached me and we actually had a really dope conversation about the scene, how far it has all come, and that one day him and I would do a six hour long DJ set. So uh, if that ever happens, that would definitely be uh, something to go check out. He was kind enough to give me one of his cassettes and sign it for me. Thanks a lot, my man. All right, so here's another interesting one 
this is a shirt I actually did not pick up at Electronicon, but it is a shirt that was given to me by Vapor95 that I brought to the event, and my goal with it was to get every artist and label to sign it. I was able to grab a Dan Mason, Shoji, and Christ autograph the night before at the tape swap meet, so they got some nice real estate on this thing to pick wherever they wanted a scribble. The next morning, we had a sort of pre-game meetup at a local brewery before the event and was able to get a ton more signatures there, some notable ones being Fiber, Music's The Hang Up, and the legendary Vapor Memory. Unfortunately, when I got to the 100% Electronicon event, they had a mandatory bag check-in, so I was not able to walk around the event and get this thing signed. I mean, I could have just held on to it all day, but I really didn't feel like having to take care of this thing throughout the day so I just chucked it in the backpack. I think I'm just gonna bring this shirt with me to events in the future. Electronicon really sparked uh, some <laughs> some inspiration in people and I know there's gonna be some more stuff coming out soon. Uh, so yeah maybe I'll just carry this shirt around with me when I go to another event and try to get it signed by everybody who is there and one day we'll just throw it in a frame. Alrighty here we got one of my favorite releases of the year. Iconic Bitch by my boy 3D Blast. 3D Blast and I had back to back DJ sets at the Electronicon after party, and he gave me one of these by the DJ booth right before I went on. I was gonna ask him to sign it after the show, but I totally forgot. But still, all good though, all good. I'm sure we're gonna bang heads again sometime in the future, and I'll try and bring it for him to sign next time around. I talked about this album in my guest video appearance on Anthony Fantano's channel, so make sure you head over there whenever you get the chance and give it a listen. It's a really sweet sounding vaporwave future funk concoction of an album with some upbeat, fast-paced tunes. 3D Blast, I love you, baby. Okay, another interesting story with this one. I'm walking around the venue between performances. It's like the middle of the day, and I hear someone shout my name from behind me, and it's Enzo and Jay from My Pet Flamingo. For those who don't know, My Pet Flamingo is based out of UK, out of Wales, and they have put out some of the most important vaporwave vinyl releases I think we've ever seen in the scene. First off, these two dudes are class acts, some of the chillest dudes I've ever met, and uh, one day if I ever get the chance to go to Wales, I need to buy these fellas a proper beer. Uh, they ended up giving me one of these, an Inner Sense promo cassette. They were handing these out at Electronicon, and they ended up putting 50 of these online as well, which did sell out. Innocence is on a really powerful fluorescent green case and shell. This thing looks radioactive and I absolutely love it. The two also signed the cassette for me as well. Thanks again guys. Alrighty folks, we are almost at what could be one of the greatest musical pickups I have ever received in my life. But before we get there, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the little bell so you never miss a future upload. Doing so helps the channel out immensely and I cannot wait for you to join me in my next video. Let's get back to some more apparel. You know I gotta get my vapor fashion going and this was a shirt I wanted to pick up so bad I knew I had to represent my boy Mesh and grab one. Mesh, for those who don't know, is a pretty big legend in the scene and has made some incredible, incredible releases like Pharma and Dream Sequins. He also had some Dream Sequins mini discs for sale at the event as well as some other items. That Mesh art that this like skull with the long hair, it always reminded me of the Misfits and I absolutely love it. I've worn this shirt actually quite a lot since I first gotten it and it is one of the many artists in the scene I am more than happy to represent with a t-shirt. I was also finally able to meet him. We ended up doing a song together, uh, some of you may know my album Contrast, we did the song Absorb together. So it was really cool to meet someone whose work I not only admired but was able to take part of and just going through, you know, countless Twitter DMs and emails, working on the track, sending the files back and forth. It's crazy, like in this scene you really don't meet the people you're working with and uh, Electronicon was that place where I met a lot of people for the first time. Mesh, keep on killing it brother. Alright folks, last but not least, I am so excited to present to you quite possibly one of the coolest vaporwave pickups of all time. I was able to pick up a copy of Death's Dynamic Shroud live in Japan on cassette. This was the one physical I made sure I would go out of my way to get at the event after it was announced by DDS a couple days before the show. I didn't care who was up in the lineup, I didn't care what was going on, I didn't care if I was doing shots by the bar, I was getting this cassette, nothing was stopping me. This Neo Gaia Fantasy cassette was put on Bandcamp 
for $420 by Death's Dynamic Shroud. A goof indeed, but James and Tech from DDS knew they were going to primarily sell these at the event and then put the rest up for sale on Bandcamp afterwards, which unsurprisingly sold out extremely quick. What makes this cassette so much more special is I was also able to get James and Tech to sign it for me. You know I'm not a big cassette guy, but this is something that is very special to me. Death's Dynamic Shroud is a group I was never really able to get into for a long time. I always found them too abrupt, erratic, and chaotic, but nowadays I've just come to fall in love with their musical risk-taking and experimentation of sound. James was able to sign this for me at the DDS merch table before their live set where I picked it up, and Tech was able to sign it for me right after the show. I I gave both those dudes a big hug, I let them know how much they killed it that night, it was just, the whole thing was just awesome. For those looking to hear this album, they have the entire lie from Japan on their band cam and they are planning on doing a repress of it, so be on the lookout for this gem of a release, you're definitely going to want to get your hands on it, so go follow Tech and go follow James on Twitter, I'm sure they will post about it when it's, you know, going to get dropped. Did you go to Electronicon? Whether you did or not, let myself and everyone else know in the comments below what recent Vaporwave or any other music physicals you've picked up. I would love to see what's making the rounds these days. Anyways everyone, thank you for watching and spending some time with me today. Keep it real, much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.